Hello and welcome back for another Torah Tuesday. We've been picking our way very slowly through Exodus chapter 4, dealing with what might be the trickiest section in the entire book. So today we have finally come to verse 24, which is the beginning of the hardest part. If this is the first video you're watching in this series, then I would encourage you to pause and go back and watch the previous four videos because I'm setting up the, the literary context that will help us make sense of this really strange episode. Okay, so here's how I translate verse 24. Now it happened on the way where they set up camp that Yahweh met him and sought to put him to death. So immediately we have a major question. Why would Yahweh, who just commissioned Moses to go back to Egypt and confront Pharaoh, then try to kill Moses as he's setting out in obedience to that command? Seems very strange. There are some very interesting parallels here with a couple of other Bible stories. First, we have the Balaam story in Numbers chapter 22. This is, of course, later. Um, where God tells Balaam, okay, you can go, but on the way, the angel of the Lord seeks to, to kill him. And that he doesn't recognize the angel, but the donkey does. That story is also mysterious, but it seems clear to me that the, the issue is that Balaam harbors something in his heart that might not be fully compliant with God's command. And so God is testing him to make sure he realizes this is serious business. He has got to obey what God has given him to do. He may only bless and not curse the Israelites. Okay, so that's Balaam. This is also similar to the Jacob story, which comes before this in Genesis chapter 32, starting in verse 20, 24. So in, in that case, Jacob is on his way back to the promised land. He's about to meet his brother and have a confrontation. And God meets him first and wrestles with him all night long. Um, and and actually injures him in the process. So in each case, in each of these stories, the encounter happens in between places, on the way, as a way of verifying identity and clarifying commitment. Now, it can't be accidental that God has just told Moses, just the previous verse in the narrative, verse 23, that, that he intends to kill Pharaoh's firstborn. So, for him to announce, I'm going to kill Pharaoh's firstborn, and then for him to turn right around and try to kill Moses means we have an identity issue that is coming into question. Is Moses the son of Pharaoh as he was adopted in chapter 2? If so, he will be in grave danger in Egypt because Yahweh has announced his intention for this showdown. Moses has got to fully identify with the people of God before he returns to Egypt. Otherwise, his own life could be in danger. It also cannot be accidental that Yahweh has just told Moses, those seeking your life are dead. Now Yahweh is seeking to kill him. That can't be accidental. It seems to me what's happening is this is a reorientation of Moses' fear. He left Egypt afraid of Pharaoh. And if he is still afraid of Pharaoh going back to Egypt, this is not going to work. He's not going to be able to confront Pharaoh and call him to listen to Yahweh's command if he himself is afraid of Pharaoh. So it, it seems to me that God is testing Moses in this encounter and, and ensuring that Moses has a proper fear of Yahweh. Stop worrying about Pharaoh. Pharaoh is not the one to worry about. The one you need to worry about is me. You need to be concerned with your own level of obedience and make sure you're fully on board with my commands. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Next week, we'll look at verses 25 and 26, which is the circumcision scene um, that resolves the problem introduced in verse 24. But this video is already long enough, and I've already given you plenty to think about for this week. I hope you have a great week, and I hope you continue to read, comment, ask questions, share your insights. I would love to hear what you're thinking. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.